Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Michaela. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my most complimented, my most girl you smell good fragrances with you guys. Y'all know I'm a talker, but I'm gonna try my best to go through these scents pretty quickly because I have a lot of them to share with you guys. It was really hard for me to narrow down my scents because I think going through my collection, almost all of my scents have gotten at least one compliment. And so I was trying to show y'all the top of the top. I also want to make a quick disclaimer if you guys are not into fragrances and you guys are kind of unfamiliar of where to start. Honestly, it's huge trial and error process. You just need to purchase a fragrance that you like, like a cold sniff, like when you just smell it out of the bottle, something that you like, and then wear it on your body a couple times and figure out what works well with your body chemistry. So yeah, just trying out different scents. And don't be afraid to ask your friend. Like I do that to my girlfriends all the time. I'm like, girl, do I smell good? Do I smell good? Because sometimes we go nose blind to scents. Like you may think you don't smell good, like, oh man, my fragrance mist came off. But to other people, you may be smelling bomb. And some people just aren't verbal with their compliments. I know that happens to me a lot. Like I used to smell girls in the hallway and I'd be like, dang, she smells good. But I never would actually tell her. So sometimes it may be that kind of situation. So don't be afraid to ask your friend like, hey, how I smelling? How I smelling? <laughs> Okay, y'all, so this intro and this disclaimer has been way, way, way too long. So we are going to hop straight on into it. If you guys want to see my most complimented fragrances, keep on watching. Okay, y'all, so the first fragrance that I have to share with you guys is kind of ironic because I don't like this fragrance. I don't like wearing it. It's not my favorite fragrance at all, but I get so many compliments on it. So I kind of force myself to wear it sometimes. So I'm not the biggest fan of this scent, but everyone seems to be a fan of this scent on me. And that is A Thousand Wishes by Bath & Body Works. So A Thousand Wishes from Bath & Body Works. Funny enough, I know this is a lot of people's favorite, favorite scents. Like this is their signature scent. And for a good reason, it smells really, really beautiful. It is in the floral fragrance family, which I feel like florals complement my body chemistry a lot, but it also makes sense because I'm not the biggest floral fan. So the fragrance notes for this scent is Pink Prosecco, Sparkling Keats, Crystal Peonies, Gilded Amber, and Amaretto Cream. So this has a lot of different fragrance notes, so there is a lot going on in this scent. It is a little bit more of a complicated scent. It's one of those ones that it's very, very hard for me to describe, but the best way I can say it is a warm floral. I think this scent is very, very classy. It wears well on the skin. It's super long lasting, and I just think it's a really nice staple piece to have. So when I think of this scent, I think of this specific compliment that I got from this customer at my work, which I always get so happy when customers compliment me at work because y'all, I work near food. I'm probably sweating. I'm probably not smelling the best. The food probably smells like hella strong, but there's a specific customer that we have at my work and whenever he comes in he calls me the smell good girl because the first time he ever met me he was like are you wearing perfume right now and I was like I'm actually wearing a body mist and he was like you smell amazing and I was like oh my gosh thank you and he told me that he's asking me to write down the name of the scent because he wanted to buy it for his wife so if you guys want a piece in your collection that you think everyone will like I think a thousand wishes is the way to go so the next fragrance mist that I have to share with you guys is actually bare vanilla from Victoria's Secret I know a shot Soccer, not like everyone knows that bare vanilla is my signature scent it is my desert island scent so this is whipped vanilla soft cashmere and the cashmere in here is so so good i love anything with a cashmere note just because it's super warm and sits on the skin really nicely so the mixture of the vanilla with the cashmere is just so so soothing it's very inviting it's warm but it's super classy and elegant this is not your warm vanilla sugar i think warm vanilla sugar if, if you guys know that scent from bath and body Works, is very very young and youthful this one is classy and grown ladylike and I constantly get compliments on this scent I remember I was in the library at school and this girl tapped on my shoulder and she was like whispering she was like what scent are you wearing and I was like huh and she was like what scent are you wearing and I was like oh bare vanilla and also one of my old co-workers whenever I would switch up my scent she wouldn't compliment me she wouldn't notice but when I wore bare vanilla that's when she'd be like hey girl what are you wearing and I'd be like girl it's bare vanilla every single time she wanted to know what scent I was wearing it was bare vanilla I remember one time after work she literally made me show her like what it looks like but yes if you are a gourmand lover but you like more mature scents this is the perfect in the middle bare vanilla from Victoria's Secret my go-to I constantly get 
compliments when I'm wearing this. So the next scent that I have to share with you guys is one that I used to get compliments on. And y'all are probably like, girl, what do you mean used to? And it's because I do not wear this scent anymore. So some of y'all know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, it is Confetti Cake Pop from Bath & Body Works. They actually do not sell this scent anymore. And it is very, very rare. So on Mercari, this goes for around 70 to like $85. I know this scent would be a compliment getter like I've had people purchase this in front of me because they loved it so much so one of my family members she was like what are you wearing and I was like confetti cake bought from Bath and Body Works and she literally whipped out her phone and bought it on Mercari like in front of me because that's how much she likes it but yes confetti cake pop literally smells like vanilla buttercream frosting sprinkles just all the warm yummy goodness this is a warm scent if you're like me my natural body chemistry warms up really really like a lot and so i will have this scent on my skin literally smelling like fresh baked cookies that's how much this warms up on my skin and i think that's why people tend to like it on me really well if you can find it on a resale website for a really good price or if you can get it like maybe bath and body because ends up bringing it back definitely definitely get your hands on it it is just the most warm gourmand gooey loving scent i really really like this one so the next scent that i have to share with you guys which is a huge compliment hitter for me is warm and cozy from victoria's secret pink now i think pink and victoria's secret in general really has a problem with their longevity i just think they don't use enough like perfume oils or whatever it's called it just like their fragrances don't really last that long however this one and bare vanilla is a huge exception this one from pink victoria's secret literally will stay on my clothes like it's nobody's business and i think that's why i get a lot of compliments on it because it lasts really well so i'm not too sure what the fragrance notes for this are i'm pretty sure it's like vanilla coconut and like passion fruit or something so this is a warm fruity scent i love the mixtures of vanilla and coconut and then when you throw in i think it's like passion fruit or guava or something like that when you throw in that really fruity note on here it is a game changer this scent is so unique i don't think like bath and body works or victoria's secret have a scent similar to this one this one really is in its own lane funny enough like the compliments that i remember getting the most from warm and cozy was at kickback where it was hosted at my friend's house and so i was in her bathroom and i didn't really have any fragrances on me so i borrowed hers and she uses warm and cozy everyone at the kickback was like girl what are you wearing and i was like warm and cozy and so i literally went home and i bought it because like i i got that many compliments on it so yeah definitely warm and cozy is a great one to pick up okay also the next scent that i always be getting compliments on is actually a new one that i realized i wore it once and then i got a couple compliments so then i started wearing it more and more and i was like dang a lot of people tend to like this scent and this is raspberry tangerine this one is from bath and body works it just smells so so good and it's very loud like this is a super strong scent it literally smells like juice this is wild raspberries fresh tangerine and lemon zest and i think that lemon zest gives it the most amazing kick i'm always getting compliments on this scent because it is loud and it will stay on your clothes like an insane amount of time so i remember i got to work and i sprayed this on my skin like one last time and then i walked out and the first thing my coworker said to me that morning he was like you smell really good and i was like oh Thank you very much. And so yeah, I don't really have much to say about this scent because it kind of is what it is. It's literally raspberry and tangerine. Like it's straight up a fruity citrus. But I swear it's so simple yet you will get so, so many compliments on it. Okay, y'all. So the next scent that I always be getting compliments on, this is actually my mom's, one of her favorite scents on me. And it is Velvet Petals La Creme. This is Queen of the Night Flower, White Sandalwoods, and Creme de la Velvet Petals. So if you guys have not smelled the original Velvet Petals, it's literally like an almond floral. So it's very, very warm, but it has that kick of floral to it, which makes it last long longer. But the La Creme part makes it literally smell like a cotton candy it also has that really soft creaminess to it but literally my mom loves this scent on me i need to buy her one because she compliments me on it that much okay so future editing michaela here so funny enough i was actually wearing velvet petals la creme while i was filming this video and after i was done filming i headed to work and when i was in the break room of our work once again we have like a couple new hires at work and the new hires was like hey i know i don't really know you so this might sound really weird but you smell really good and i was like 
you're so sweet and i just thought it was funny because i just filmed this video so if you are somebody that likes warm scents i think you'd love this if you are somebody that likes floral scents i think you'd love this it's just a super all-around good scent and which is why i think it gets a lot of compliments so the next scent that i have to share with you guys is also from the la creme collection from victoria's secret but this one is bare vanilla la creme so this scent is kind of weird because i think it's an either you love it or you hate it i know a lot of people do like this one but it does have like this almost mint like gum yeah it literally has like kind of like a spearmint scent to it which can throw a lot of people off however on the skin i think it smells so so expensive like this one smells very classy and very elegant i think that mint kind of elevates the like vanilla in here really nicely and so when I wear this with like a vanilla lotion, I'm always getting a compliment. My dad is somebody who doesn't really pick up on like fragrances. So he usually won't give me compliments on like if I smell good or not. But this is one that literally caught his attention so much to where he was like, oh, you smell really good right now. But yes, yeah, bare vanilla la creme. I don't think it's for everybody, but let me tell y'all, when I wear it, I get a lot of compliments. So, so the next fragrance mist I have to share with you guys is You're the One from Bath & Body Works. I think that everyone who owns this scent has gotten at least one compliment on it. Like you've gotten a compliment on this one because it is too loud for anyone to not notice. Like if you know, you know, this is a loud, heavy hitter scent. And so when you wear this, people literally will notice that you're wearing something. So this is White Birch Velvety Rose and a Drop of Strawberry Nectar. When I say perfume it smells very mature it smells like a grown woman like a boss chick but yes this is a very very classy scent i only wear this on special occasions so i don't get that many compliments on it because i don't wear it enough but when i do wear it like i wore this to a baptism i've worn these to really like fancy birthday parties and that's when i get a lot of compliments people literally think i'm wearing a perfume and it is literally this bottle it is so so good if you are in need of a scent that smells very very fancy but you're on a budget you're the one. You will get an insane amount of compliments. The next scent that I always get compliments on is, of course, Raspberry Jam Donut. So Raspberry Jam Donut was one of those scents that I was wearing it and I was just like, I don't really smell it on me. Like I'm smelling my skin. I don't really smell nothing. But when I see other people, they're the ones to always say like, oh girl, you smell really, really sweet. Like you smell really good. And it's usually this one. So I was actually hanging out with my friend Natalie last week. She does have a YouTube channel. So go make sure and check her out, Natalie Grace. But whenever I was wearing this, she's obsessed with this scent. But whenever I was wearing it, she was like, you smell really really good so this is wild raspberry jam powdered sugar and warm fluffy donut if you're a person that likes that very warm and i want to smell like a dessert table type of scent this is a go-to because it will literally have you smelling like a donut and i know that's not everyone's vibe but let me tell you i know a lot of people even though they don't like to wear gourmand scents on themselves they like to smell it on other people and that's a huge thing with why i think i get so many compliments on this is that people that wouldn't think that they would want to wear this scent they like it on other people you know what i mean and so if you are in search of a scent that is a compliment getter raspberry jam donut will not fail i swear so my last two scents i saved specifically for last i don't know but for some reason maybe it's with my body chemistry but whenever i wear these scents i've gotten a compliment so it might come as a huge surprise to you guys because it's a huge surprise to me that so many people like it it is winter candy apple so this is candy red apple winter rose petals candied orange maple leaf and fresh cinnamon even though it is a part of the winter collection let me tell y'all this is an all year round scent and when i say that this is a compliment getter it is so shocking to me one time oh my gosh i'll never forget this because i was laughing because it was literally about this scent and i'd already thought in my head like dang a lot of people like this one but this was the defining moment where i was like yeah a lot of people like this one is when i was in our break room and our break room is a little different so you walk in and it's like a little hallway and then there's two doors that kind of separate into the locker room so when you first walk in you don't really know who's in there and so i was sitting in one of the, like you know the doorways where the lockers are and so i hear somebody open the door but i can't see who it is they can't see me and but i hear their voice and they go michaela are you in here and i go yeah and i know who it is because i hear their voice 
and they're like oh i knew it was you because it smells really good in here <laughs> and so i was like oh yeah it's like the scent that i always get the compliments on and i thought it was so funny that he noticed it and funny enough my friends who own winter candy apple tell me the same exact thing that like they get a lot of compliments so i just think this works well on a lot of different body chemistries so it's definitely one to check out like don't just shy this one away because it's a part of the christmas collection like you can genuinely get away with wearing this all year it's such a good scent so the next scent that is the tip top i have never worn this scent without getting a compliment is rose water and ivy from bath and body works <sighs> now this scent brings back so so many memories to me it is soft rose petals rain kiss ivy and creamy sandalwood it's very expensive it's kind of like you're the one in a way that it smells like a fancy perfume like i can see this being a miss dior perfume almost i think bath and body works actually made the best rose scent when they made this it doesn't matter like dove olay ogx victoria's secret it doesn't matter what rose scent they have come out with rose water and ivy is not being topped like it is the best rose scent out there and when I say it is a compliment receiver, honey, I wear this around my mom and it's like every single time she's like, what are you wearing? And I'm like, mom, it's rose water and ivy. This is the 20th time that I've told you this. Like she loves this scent on me. I've gotten a couple comments on my YouTube channel and people always say like, oh, what is your number one most complimented scent? It is rose water and ivy, like without a doubt. So if you are looking for the compliment getter, it is this one. Do I think that everyone's going to want to wear it on themselves? No, just because I know a lot of people don't like rose scents. It's a very strong floral, but it's a floral that I mess with. I'm not a floral girl, but rose, I make a huge exception for because I love rose scents. But I know a lot of people probably won't, won't want to wear it on themselves, but it is a scent that people love on other people like this. Huh, it is it is top tier. This is the number one like she should be the thumbnail because she's number one You know what I'm saying? So, Anyways, y'all that was actually it for today's video I do hope you guys enjoyed seeing my top most complimented fragrances This was such a fun video to film for me because not only was it fun to like dig through like my, my baskets and try to find What scents got me the most compliments, but it also made me think about the different memories that I've made with them These scents worked really well on my body chemistry, but it doesn't mean it's gonna work well on yours So it's just a trial and error process, but definitely let me know down below what is your most complimented scent because I really want to know just so I can test it out. But once again, thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to follow all my social medias. They will always be down below. But I love you guys oh so, so much. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.